So now that I have the Singer uh, 403 set up with the double needle or twin needle, I thought I'd just stitch a little bit since I have this for sale on Craigslist and I thought people could see the actual machine in action. I'm sure there's a lot better videos on YouTube than this, but let's go ahead. Uh, first, I'll start with a little bit of the uh, stitch theory. Uh, this is the rotary hook down here. So there's a hook on that. It comes around and grabs the thread at the back of the needle. And even though you've got double thread and dub double needles up above, you're still only going to use your one thread on the bobbin. The, the hook, if it's timed properly, is going to pick up both of the threads and bring them around the hook and, and around over this bobbin, pass through through here, and wrap around the bobbin thread to make your lock stitch. So to pick up two threads, your timing really has to be set properly. If the timing's a little uh, slow, it's only going to uh, grab the second uh, thread. If the timing's too fast, it'll only grab the first, or vice versa. But I'll show you. I'll show you how this goes now. I'll just turn the wheel by hand. So I have my two upper threads. There's the. There's you can see the bobbin thread right there. And as I start to see this, she'll go down. Oop, come on, there we go. Now the hook's going to come by right there and pick up those threads. And see it dragging it over the top of the bobbin there now? Yep. Then it's got to pass right through that gap. It's a little spring there. And if that is too tight, it'll hold those up and uh, mess up the stitch. Then it continues around and wraps around the bobbin thread and forms the lock stitch. 